So why is DHA uniquely important? And um, that that's a fascinating question. So it was the molecule that essentially evolved 600 million years ago, in, initially in these uh, dy- dinoflagellate organisms in the ocean. And, the, and if you look at the structure of the molecule, it's got these rings. And essentially, it's been described as a, a photon trap. And if we think about the biophysics of this, the w- w- when they're, it's basically got what's known as an electron cloud. So it's got all these electrons that it's very electron dense. And the way that the molecule is shaped is it's got these rings of electrons. This idea of the photoelectric effect is that the photons interact with the electrons. So what the when you have a, a compound and you look at these ring structures, then you can imply that they're going to have an absorption um, spectrum. And you can imply that they're going to be biologically active um, with respect to light and things like tryptophan, melatonin. They've got these kind of ring structures that imply that they're designed by evolution or the creator to be interacting with light. So DHA has this massive cloud of electrons and this so-called photon trap function that allows it to take light, absorb light, and then use that light for uh, phototransduction or um, photoreception. So it was thought that these molecule first evolved to, um, in the most primitive way to allow vision in these organisms and then essentially allow life to evolve a nervous system by harnessing the light power. So before that, we didn't have as efficient way of harnessing that light information. But when, when we started building DHA into our cell membranes and into our uh, organisms, we were finally able to m- basically make use of all this light that was bathing the, the world, bathing the ocean, um, and use that for not just to photosynthesize, but also to uh, detect different kind of wavelengths and, and um, you know, kind of exist. So it hasn't been replaced in biology in 600 million years. And all the nervous systems of our animals, and especially to do with light reception and photoreception and vision, are built around this, this DHA compound. So what, um, what that means for us as humans is that we have a massive enrichment of this DHA fatty acid in the, in the distance between our eyes, like in our eyes, and our brain, our, what's called the retinohypothalamic tract, is massive amounts of DHA. So it's, it's got a huge, huge, huge um, store of this. And the, essentially, it's allowing those electrons to, it's like a super highway. The Germans are great, great at uh, laying uh, highways. And I think they even, I think they, parts of the Autobahn have, um, they're actually wide enough to land military jets. But it, just imagine the most smooth highway like autobahn that you can imagine so it is the perfect situation to transport goods at a really very high speed you can drive at 180k an hour without any issue and uh, versus you know a a cobblestoned um like pothole road dirt road so so the the reason i draw the analogy is because that is what these dha rich neuronal pathways in our brain from our eyes to our um, brain are they're like that super highway because they're allowing light to and light signals to really just to transmit extremely efficiently. So what that means is that um, it's it's key for photoreception, but it's also key for for the brain health in general. And we, we enrich our brains as well with with DHA. Um, what Dr. Michael Crawford has uh, found, or what he has suggested, is that it was the presence of DHA in our environment um, on the seashore that allowed us to develop the cranial size that that we have at the moment. And there, basically, there's this savanna theory of encephalization which suggests that it was us kind of scavenging bone marrow and that's why we became so intelligent but really i i don't think the theory holds water compared to what crawford is suggesting um because what he's suggesting is that it was uh the fact that the women were able to walk around the lake and the seashore and, and while the men were out hunting and during their pregnancies and simply eat the shellfish the oysters the mussels and um, whatever they could find which was incredibly rich with of DHA, loaded with DHA during their pregnancies. And all these fatty acids were essentially building the baby's brain um, throughout that nine-month gestation and beforehand. And this was the key reason why we were able to develop such um, a, a massive brain. So what that comes to that, that advice to eat fresh seafood because um, you're essentially going to be um, optimizing your brain function, optimizing your, your, your visual system, optimizing your um, your light, your, your ability to perceive light, and and to um, operate on a brain point of view, and it's a non it's non negotiable for anyone with depression or anxiety or any kind of mental health. The, the combination of fresh seafood 
and locally caught seafood and sunrises, as far as I'm concerned, is you know that that's how you kind of heal any kind of mental health issue. But um, DHA, it's incredibly powerful. It's incredibly um, necessary. And um, you know, we if we cut it out or we don't get enough, then there's this cerebral kind of de-evolution that's happening um, that, that Crawford talks about as well. So-